hi guys how are you today so i found this question today this guy asking if we can connect two circles like this so this guy has this blue circle this girl has this orange circle when they are coming closer the circle connects and make a single circle i have kind of created this something comes in mind first so i just wanted to show you the way but there can be lots of other ways so you can see both character has the ring and they connect and this is done using material and niagara particle system so there might be lots of ways but let's check this way if maybe it can be helpful for you or other artists so let's start this tutorial so let's just start it so in this empty folder i'll just create a material and circle and let's make this mask and it to side okay so if you have a radial and i'll just connect it here so it has some parameters like radius and density and also the center point because on this canvas it can move on x or y y or x and if i'll show you if i put here and at zero zero it will be here at one one it will be here but at point five and sorry 5.5 it will be in the center so that means i can move it so keep it mind that i can move this circle now let's say you have two radials and you take the max of these two if i just move one a uh, little bit like if i move this like 0.3 and now if i take the max of these two because in this one i have in the center in this one this is move little bit in the left if i take the max it will join like this and if i just take the max and take the sign so what the sign does is like if you have a single radial and you take the sign and just connect with this radial if you connect the sign it will repeat that gradient and give you that ring and you can also make this two so it will be faded from both sides then you can use other parameter to decrease the width so basically here i will use a sign and let's say two and if i preview i have something this and let's take the stack node and if i like 0.5 it will give you ring but it's giving you black ring so i will just invert this and 0.5 now it will give you white ring and those are connected so basically i'll connect this here let's make a parameter this will be width and let's say this is 0.5 and then to move this and first let's make a radius parameter for both so i want the same radius for both although you can uh, change the, uh, you can make the separate and then for this let's make this parameter and this will be like location and i'll just take the shift c uh, and just take the mask we are just about it two vectors so for the red and green okay so let's just save it and check it in the instance how it's working so if i'll just an instance and here i have some setting first i can decrease the width like this much then i can reduce the radius and then i can just move it so i have these two ring and they when they touch they just make a single ring single shape actually so you can just move it up and down now you can use this thing in the particles so you can assign uh, these to a two different location or two different particles if you want and then you can use that location for your character so let's see how we can do that so i have this and let's connect this here also and i'll also take the particle color to change the color okay so we have this but here i want something uh i want a dining parameter and instead of this thing i'll delete this i'll take the append vector it will give you x and y so i'll just connect these and i'll just rename these x1 y1 and for this if you want to edit also the second circle 
I'll just use this append and connect here and connect these two and I'll call them x2 y2 okay because we have two radials two circles we have so x1 x uh, x1 y1 x2 y2 so let's just save this so now uh, let's save this also and let's take a niagara i'll just take this empty one apex and in this oh my god i'll just make some space and i'll just take the fountain here in this one i'll just delete some modules and just take the burst i just want one particle spawn once and live forever and then i'll use this material i'll use the instance and connect this here and let's make the size a little bit bigger i'll make the constant size maybe like this much okay and i'll take the dining parameter and set the default values 0 0.5 0 0.5 so it will be in the center okay so you can make the size even bigger if you want like this much if you want and i'll also make this like 50 or 50 is enough so we have this glowing ring cool this is camera facing so i'll just make the custom alignment custom facing vector here i'll take the align to mesh orientation instead of x take the z and now it is z aligned because in the reference it looks like it is aligned on z so this is aligned on z and now you can just move the one ring like this and there is a random rotation here i will just turn this off now you want to assign some parameters uh, you want to connect with the character and let's make the particle effect also local if you want so it depends if you want so let's make these user parameter so this one this one also so each parameter I'll make the user parameter. You can also make another emitter here and connect uh, these parameters with the position of the particle that is like moving around with the curl noise and this ring will move around. So you can also do that. So I'll go to the user parameter and these are my x1, y1, x2, y2. So I'll just rename these x1 accordingly, y1. x2 y2 cool i'll just save this and let's say default value is 0.5 so now if i drag this effect here and move it a little bit let's move it on zero actually so it is not showing you the full circle sometime it happens you just need to rebuild all and will just fix so you have this ring i'll just move it a little up here cool let's say you have two characters uh, i'll just put uh, this or maybe i'll just delete this maybe i'll take the idle i have some let's say you have the mannequin if you want or just let me see this one yeah this looks fine yeah so i'll just put it on the zero for now and this ring is too big let's use the size and i want to increase the width of that so width is controlled in the instance although you can make the dynamic parameter for that but here i will just increase with maybe this much cool now what i want i have this character and i have one more character here and i want when i move this character so the ring should follow the second ring and when i go closer these rings should connect like we did in the stance so if you will select your fx and go here you can change the value like this okay so now you know uh, it's moving and one more thing you have to check 
because this ring has a canvas so it cannot go outside that so if you just put one more sprite render here and remove the texture material it will give you the box so now you know you have this much of canvas you cannot move uh, 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 move beyond that so you will see the location of this character here this is like almost 300 units so that means on the y it is 300 units and on the x it's also 300 units so we cannot move our character more than 300 units if you want to you have to change the particle size here and then you can reduce the radius in the instance okay so when you increase the particle size radius will increase but increase but you can control it okay so now we have this 300 and 300 thing so let's follow it so i'll just turn this off okay so what i'll do i'll just go to blueprint and let me just save this map inside circle connect cool saved i'll go to my level blueprint this what happened where is the viewport what i just opened i can check yeah so this should be here okay so you have to just select your fx in the viewport right click and take a reference of this and what you want to add it x and y position so set niagara variable float and just take this and then i want to add it on every frame and like this name is x1 for the one circle and I'll copy and paste and connect this and connect this here and this will be my Y1. So first thing I want to take the position of this. So this should be uh, like movable. This is already. So I'll just right click here and take the reference of that character and just get location. And first, if I because I just want X and Y, so I'll just break. And if you check the position of this, if I take the print and just connect the X or Y, let's say because this is the Y, let's check the Y first and connect this here. So if I just uh, simulate, it will give you the Y position that is the 300. But in my canvas, in my instance material, I had that value from 0 to 1. So what you have to do, you have to remap. So what's this? I have the map range plan. And this value should be so. This is 300, and if I go here, this should be minus 300. So that's how it's make the square. So if your value is minus 300 to 300, I want that to 0 to 1. Okay, and let's use it here and see what it give you. Now it gives you 0.7 and on the 300 it will give you 1 and on the minus 300 it will give you 0. Right? So now we can connect this into here and for the y and for the x I'll just copy this node and paste this here and connect and just connect this here. And just check if I play. This thing is happening but i think uh, we have these wrong values it should be one and zero one and zero yeah so you can see it cannot go outside that but it's connecting with that circle 
So if I move this, it's connecting circle. So this is the thing that comes in my mind first, although there can be lots of ways to do this, better ways to do it. And this is just a very simple circle. You can do some math in your material. It should be like, like a smooth here. You can do that also. Easily you can do that with materials. So I hope that's it. Thanks for watching. Keep learning and bye-bye.